All right, this is going to be a short video. Um, I was going to change the cat out on this truck and uh, snap the bolt off. And then to get the bolt out, you got to take the EGR tube off. And this EGR tube is, you know, this truck's 21 years old and it's never been off. And it's not going to come off. So I already tried to torch. Um, I had it going red hot. And uh, there's not a whole lot of room to get to it while it's up in there. And those two sensors turn in the way. And that thing was seized on there too. Got that red hot and really couldn't get it out. So I figured I just went ahead and pulled the manifold off. And then I'll show you guys a couple of tricks that, or a couple of things that I've, I've had success with, with how to get this stuff off. Uh, you know, you put a wrench on, on your oxygen sensor on this, and it only takes so long before they start spreading open and you start rounding it off. That's what kind of happened to this one. So I'm going to stop where I'm at. And I'm going to. Uh, Go ahead and break off the end of it, and we'll just have to replace this O2 sensor. Right, so you just smack it off with a hammer. You do actually do this while it's still in the truck, too. Then, uh, we'll get a socket. So it already started messing up, so we'll get a socket on there. Ah. It's that simple. It comes right out. And before we put a new one on there, we'll chase those threads out. And then, uh, put anisees on it. I always put copper anisees on it. Now this EGR tube, we're kind of going to do the same thing, except I'm going to use a cutoff wheel, and I'm going to cut this tube off. Now this one is... Engine 16. This one, it actually pulled the, the fitting out. Like I said the line was not coming out, and it didn't. I had this thing going red hot, and it would not come off. Um, and you know, you can only put so much torque on a wrench whenever it's in the truck. And you don't want to go too crazy, because then you smash your hand in the side of the block. But, I mean, you can tell these, these threads, they, uh, they were pretty galled up. So I'll probably try getting the tap and tapping this one out too. At least, uh, you know, I might, this one has a couple good threads on it. I might slit it and then run it through, but I'll put high temp anti-seize on this stuff too whenever I put it back together. And then, you know, that's all it's going to take. Uh, if this doesn't work, what I would do is I would get out a torch again, I would heat it up. It's blowing, and then go at it with the end pad. Sometimes you could, you know, go back and forth, you know, forward, reverse, forward, reverse, and then eventually once it starts moving, it'll start going. But uh, I've never really had a problem where I couldn't get anything out like that. And I mean, I don't have the strongest impact in the world. It's not like a, you know, an air cat or a new titanium or anything like that. But I've had, I've had success with that. And then uh, took a, you know, somewhere, you know, you cut a cat out and you weld one back in. 
takes you know an hour and a half, and now we're putting exhaust manifold gaskets and everything. But uh, if you guys like these tips, go ahead and like the video. Uh, if you have any other tips that you had that have worked for you, um, go ahead and leave those down in the comments. Uh, subscribe. I upload every Monday. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.